The following is an open letter by poet Andy Levine that serves as an introduction to his latest book, Today Then Tomorrow. It is truly overwhelming when you reach the final steps of a pursuit to see the distance you've traveled in getting there. Perspective is not an easy thing to corral. It doesn't come without failure, and it's not easier to understand with success. For me, poetry is the ultimate challenge of efficiency. It is the translation of grand ideas and specific actions into a calculated arrangement of emotion. Often, the desire for simplicity quickly becomes discouraged in labyrinths of intricacy. Ideas have a way of spiraling down a staircase of control. It is only after exploring the depth of these valleys can you begin to ascend with clear purpose. Today then tomorrow would not have been completed without attempting everything I could to grasp these realities. As this book is released, I am 29 years old. After writing for 15 years, this is my third formal collection of poetry. With every trial, error, and conclusion, I have grown in all aspects as a poet and publisher. Many mistakes have been made and countless lessons have been learned from them. To truly appreciate any art form is trying to understand both the body of work and its creator. This letter is an effort to do that. There are complex layers of inspiration that go into an artist's work. Each individual portrayal is not a vigilante fighting for survival. It is backed by an army of a thousand moments. Everything we do is a result from the life we have lived. Events mold the surrounding landscape as instinct navigates us through this world. Since I last wrote an introduction like this, I have experienced enriching times of poignancy that have influenced my drive to create. I have seen new life arrive as well as others pass on. There were solemn nights dominated by loneliness and vibrant passion re-energized by love. There have been gratifying professional triumphs along with absorbing the rigors of a career. Friends have come and gone for all types of reasons and in all kinds of ways. I have seen society sink amid hopeless rages of cynicism and then at occasion rise together with cautious hope. The rate of movement and growth of a person serves as the core of everyone's personal evolution. This crucial sense of perception provides the confidence to be able to look at yourself critically. It is difficult to fully mature until you embrace the tempo at which you learn. It takes this methodic pace so circumstance can properly materialize for reflection. This can only be done a day at a time and it often takes months or years for tangible results. There is something noble about consistency. To be there every day with the proper ambition to succeed can serve as the fire that warms the doubts in our soul. We all need to keep moving in whatever direction we feel will benefit not only us, but the others in our lives. Look forward and move ahead. Live for today with an eye on tomorrow and don't let yesterday anchor you down. Thank you. Andy Levine